Hello, you're welcome to today's video. Today we'll be learning how to produce liquid detergent, what you normally call liquid soap. But there's a difference between a detergent and a soap. You can go to Google and find, just type in what is the difference between a detergent and a soap. Then Google will bring it out for you so you read. So the actual, the proper name is actually liquid detergent, not liquid soap. So we'll be looking at how to produce liquid detergents today. We are producing chemicals that will be needing and their quantity to produce a 30 liters of liquid detergent. Normally it is 25 liters, but because of the hack, my hack, you're going to get up to 30 liters or even 35 liters. So let's go through the list of chemicals. First, we'll be using a nitrous soap. This is a nitrous soap. It is like milk, very powdery and like milk. We'll be using one over eight of a kg. This is my caustic soda. I'll be using just like two tables, two tablespoons. Don't want it too much. I'll be using like two tablespoons. These are sulfonic. I'll be using one one liter of sulfonic, but it's a very black um, substance. Who confuse it for sulfuric acid? Please, it is not sulfuric acid, it is sulfonic acid. There's a difference between sulfuric and sulfonic. If you go to market and tell them to give you sulfuric acid, that's RIC. They'll give you an acid that is very, very dangerous that even if it touches you, it will burn you immediately. But this one is mild. It is sulfonic, N-I-C, not R-I-C. Please take note, don't mistake in them. There's an, a, an acid called sulfuric acid. It is very, 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 very corrosive. It touches, and even if it touches paper, it will burn the paper. But what we are using here is sulfonic acid. This is tesapon. It's like pap, you see. It's all new. This is my soda. This is my, it's also a foaming agent. I'll be using 500 grams. That is half kg. I'll be using half kg for this production. This is my soda. This is a very, very powerful cleaning agent. It cleans so, so well. I'll be using one kg, one kg to produce this batch of liquid detergent. This is STPP. It's also a cleaning agent. Also, I'll be using one over it. I'll be using one eight. This is my excellence, XLS. It's so, um, sodium laureate sulfate. Sodium laureate sulfate. It's like rice. They call it rice. Just go there and tell them you want to buy rice. They'll give it to you. It's a powerful foaming agent. This is also my liquid foaming agent. I'll be using this foaming agent just to boost because the soap I'll be producing will lather so, so well. That is why I sell her because my soap foams so well and it cleanses very, very well. So I'm licking, giving you my secret now for free. So this is foaming agent, liquid foaming agent, liquid foaming booster. That's what they call it. I'll be using quarter of a liter, one four. This is my perfume. I'll be using lemon. You can add your perfume to your taste, but here I'll be using like 200 ml. And this is my color. This is my color. I'll be using just one wrap. I'm not even finished this one wrap. You add your color to taste. It helps us to beautify our soap. And, and this is my water. I've already pre-measured it. It is 30 liters. I pre-measured my water already. It is 30. That is what I'll be using to produce everything I produce. Let's go right into production. Thank you. Okay, so we are starting our production. What I do, the hack I use is that, I, like I said, we're producing this whole thing in, the, in less than 10 minutes. I have three bowls. I call this big bowl my bowl A. I call this my bowl B. And I call this black bowl my bowl C. My bowl A is the bigger bowl. We are doing the production. My bowl B is a white is a white bowl. And my bowl C is a black bowl. So what do I do? I'll leave my bowl A. I'll come to my bowl B. I'll pour in my sulfonic acid, one liter of sulfonic acid into my bowl B. I'll pour it there. I'll add my tesapon. With this hack, you produce your soap in less than 10 minutes. I'll pour my tesapon. It will not be very difficult for you to stop my tesapon into my bowl, bowl B, and I will stir. I will stir very, very well. And I will stir very, very well. I will stir until it is properly dissolved. See, my so tesapon has dissolved completely inside. Then I'll add water. Remember, I said I'm using 10 liters of water. So I'll add water. I'll add 8 liters. I'll be adding it to, to this cup is a 1 liter cup. So I'll be adding it to 2 liters at a bit while I stir. I'll stir. 2 liters and I'll stir. I'll add another 2 liters. And I'll stir. I'll, let me add the remaining four. Remember, I've measured the water. 
like 30 liters of water. So all the production I'll be doing, I'll be using from it. So this is 8 liters. So this is fine. So I'll leave it. I'll come to my bowl. See, I've measured 8 liters of water here. I'll measure 7 liters here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's use 6. We are going to use remaining water power. Right. So 6 liters of water. I'll add my soda ash. 1 kg of soda ash. If you don't want your soda ash to form lumps, ensure you are stirring simultaneously as you are pouring it in. If you allow it, it will just block on that because soda ash does not generate heat by itself. That will help dissolve. It is possible so that you can pour it in and leave it without stirring, but soda ash you must stir simultaneously so that it does not form lumps underneath. So it has completely dissolved. I will leave it. I will add my STPP inside my bowl C also. I will add my STPP and I will stir. I added soda ash and STPP inside my bowl C. In my bowl A, I added tetrapon and sulfonic acid. So that is it. So I'll come here, I'll get another cup. This is my caustic soda. This is my caustic soda. Like it's like two spoons, two tablespoons. I'll add water from my from same water. I'll add water. Just like 200 ml of water. And I'll add my caustic soda inside and stay. I've added my coffee soda here and I'll stir like two tablespoons of coffee soda in 200 ml of water and I'll stir. I'll keep it aside. I'll get my color. I'll get another cup. I'll put like 100 ml of water inside the cup and I'll add my color. And I'll add my color. I'll add the one wrap, but I may not use all. I'll just be checking when I get the desired color I want. And I'll stir my color. Everything is almost ready. And also my perfume. I don't pour my perfume directly. I'll pour a little bit of water inside because it can cause separation before a little um, everything I'm doing is from the 30 liters of water that I've measured already. So I'll pour in my, my a little bit of water inside my perfume and I'll shake. Even if I'm keeping them. And my excellent, my excellent. The remaining 600, 600, 600 ml of water, I'll pour it here. The remaining 600 ml of water and I'll add my excellent inside. And I'll stir also. Remember, 30 liters of water. I used 8 liters to dissolve my tetrapon and sulfonic acid. And I used 6 liters to dissolve my soda ash and STPP. I used 200 liters to dissolve my caustic soda. I used them. I used them. Like 100 ml to dissolve my color, and I added about 100 ml. So I was left with 600 ml, and I used it to dissolve my STP. So I have like 15 liters of water left here. So let's start our production. So I'll come back to my bowl A. The bowl A we left. I'll just remove like one liter for rinsing. So I have like about 14 liters of water here. I'll come back here. Remember this nitro salt? This nitro salt can. can Form lumps easily. So you make sure you stir it as you're pouring it so it does not form lumps. Stir it simultaneously. So as I'll put and I'll be stirring. Microsoft so can form lumps very, very easily. So make sure you are stirring briefly as you are pouring it gently. Pour in gently, gradually, and stir. 
that does not form loans. It has completely dissolved. No loans formed at all. This phone is coming. You see, I've not started it's running already. It's, the phone is coming from the mystery one that I used to dissolve this F and tether phone and sulfonic acid. It's already foam when I've not even added my foaming agent. So I'll add the step two is to add my my caustic soda solution. So I'll add my caustic soda solution to it. Step one, I poured my nitrous for inside my 14 liters of water or 15 liters, whichever one you want. I just remove one liter to rinse the buckets and pour inside. Then I will stir. I will stir. After I've stirred a bit, I will pour in all the content of OB into my production. I have poured in all the content of OB into my production that will stir. Is already foaming. Just imagine, I'm not done and it's foaming like this already. Then imagine how it will foam if I have added, even I add my rice and my foaming booster. Then I'll add all the content of both C into my production bowl. Let me use one to rinse, to rinse uh, this because I still have some tether phone and some is left there. So I'll pour it in and I'll stay. Just imagine how foamy it is. Foamy. It is. When I have not finished production, then I'll add my rice. I added my rice. Step one, I poured nitrous oil into my water. Step two, I added my spicy soda solution, my light solution. Step three, I poured in the content of OB inside. Step four, I poured in the content of both C inside. Step six, I poured in my rice. Step seven, I'm going to add my foamy, my liquid foaming booster. You can imagine how this soap will foam. And I'll stir. Step seven, I'll pour in my, my, my perfume or color, whichever one can come first. I'll pour in my perfume. I, I'm using lemon, about 200 ml of perfume. My fragrance, I'll stir. Then I'll pour in my color. Let me pour all. I poured in one wrap of color. That one will have the soap for 100 naira. So I'll just stir. So imagine how foamy my soap is already. I'll do two. By tomorrow morning, I'll come back and see. You'll see how thick and beautiful this soap will be. Just, just imagine. See, it's not settled yet. So after this, we'll come back tomorrow. I'll come back because I'm. This is already past 6 p.m. in my part of the world, so I'll leave it overnight. But you can just leave it for like two, um, 10 to 12 hours. But because it's already evening here, I'll leave it overnight and I'll come back tomorrow morning to you. So to show you what the end product of a uh, liquid soap is for see how for me it is thank you so here is the soap we produced yesterday you can see how thick and transparent and beautiful it is we produce this in less than 10 minutes so go ahead try it out and produce yours. Go ahead and try it out. And produce yours. Ensure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel as I upload valuable trainings every week. And also hit the notification bell so that you are notified each time I, I upload new videos. At Global Just Business School, we empower you with profitable skills. Thank you.